a Blue Beetle Booster Gold Buddy. Really? Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. JP obviously has never met Blue Beetle and Mr. Gold Saiyan. <laughs> so if you're watching this, you can join and be part of the um, <laughs> So, um. <laughs> but just saying, theagebot.com, www.theagebot.com. Like faces, it's not gonna work. Blue Beetle got laughing. On the list of Power Man and Iron Fist. What are the toughest issues with keep an oncoming comic interesting? <laughs> ongoing, <laughs> ongoing, <laughs> ongoing comic. <laughs> 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 just oh, just give me the damn thing. Yeah, you read that shit. Today, what are the toughest issues with keeping an ongoing comic interesting? Where'd you get it coming from? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Give me that shit. <laughs> but what are the toughest issues? <laughs> Get new readers in, but you also have to keep your old readers, and I think that's one of the biggest issues. Because a lot of comics are changing nowadays; the, the flavors are kind of uh, shifting to something else. Mm. And a lot of older people complain, but you get all new readers. You know what? I can honestly understand that because I um, lost me. I mean, years ago when I was in high school, I was a big avid comic book collector, and then somewhere after Age of Apocalypse, they lost me, and basically it was. I, I tried to keep on for about six months after Age of Apocalypse ended and just couldn't keep with it. I mean, I just think that like they um, they left, they they made it boring for me. Um, um, the cameraman is motioning over to Eric, so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Moving on. Next. <laughs> no, I mean it lost me after that. I mean, um, I think it was just because it, they. The story just weren't, wasn't doing it for me. I mean, they, they, I think that in the effort for them to try and grab new readers, they lost all the readers. And I think that what keeps on happening and that they keep forgetting that comics aren't just for kids and aren't just for that high school, pre-high school age, you know? They are for adults as well. You know, a lot, actually nowadays, I think, for you owning a couple shops, how much, your clientele is mostly adults or kids? 99% adults. Yeah, exactly. Kids don't read the stuff that's coming out now. Yeah, exactly. A lot of kids like the older stuff. Stuff from like the late 80s. Really? Yes. Hmm. I okay. just hate that. I because it was yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it wasn't much continuity to bog it down, and most stories were told in an issue or two. Well, no, I, I also. Sorry, um, not to. Dis I think there was continuity back in the 80s, but however, I think there was what Wilson. Uh, I think Wilson back me up. Used to be a continuity editor, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. No, so, no, what I'm suggesting is that you, it didn't really matter so much if you didn't read previous stories. Okay, so I think saying. they were better at filling you in. Without there was better comment. exposition. Yeah. I don't want to call it exposition because they didn't. They kept I know what your, the, what like, comic books are missing now. Ad scene in issue one eighty one. That's what comic books nowadays don't have. They don't have no. the. They're ignoring continuity instead of basically saying that. And I think the older comic books basically said this happened to this person, and then we're moving on. And if you want to read what happened to that person, it's, you know, an issue 181 or whatever. Um, and I think that that was an easier way to just keep the story going. Um, I don't say that, I don't think they got too continuity heavy, only because a lot of us didn't start off in issue one anyway. We started off in the middle of it. And back in the 80s and, you know, from the time Marvel was created till about... 89, everything was cohesive in the sense of you could jump on anywhere and pretty much catch up. You know, it'll say in there, um, see issue 189, but it might give you a brief description that, you know, this happened to Spider Man a few years ago, and that said in the story goes on. Where I think, I think the excuse that they have too much continuity, it's, it comes down to writers not being able to decide what to do with it. Because all they're, tr I, I think a few of them are trying to do is put their own thing in it and want to ignore what was happening in the past. And I think it comes down to the point where, yes, there was a continuity editor to a certain degree. You know, someone will read it and says, this, this is wrong, this is wrong. But now I think what it is, you have editors coming in who may not have read the books. So they don't really care about the continuity. I think they come in, you know, they take you know, on the job. The magazine, I think so. I think they're just at this point trafficking the stuff through. 
Well, I mean, for example, I mean, now we're getting uh, writers from different genres who are famous, and I don't think the, the editors want to tell them no. I believe I think that's what it is. I haven't well. followed Black Panther, but a lot of readers have been saying that they've thrown out a lot of old continuity. He's sort of rewritten it. Well, so like he I, had, I could easily see that. He never, had like a, he never had that friendship with the Avengers that he used to have. Right. And he and Storm were were romantic interest years ago. Well, the funny just thing, to fit his own vision. Yes. The funny thing about that series is that I started reading it, and at one point I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be part of Marvel continuity or just a reimagining, mm -hmm. like almost like. It was like an Elseworlds version of yeah. the story. And it was confusing. Yeah, because I'm like, this is Claw? Is that who that is? That's right. Uh, oh, I get it. This isn't the real Black Panther. Oh, okay. And after a while, I lost interest because I thought so it was written about something that didn't matter. And then I found out, no, that's supposed to be all continuity. He's just rewriting it. And that kind of bothers me when he's just basically ignoring the previous continuity. Arbitrarily just thrown out. Yeah. Changed. Um, basically saying if it's not working for us, just get rid of it or ignore it. And well, I, I think that's poor writing in the sense of that was called. You should be able to work within the constraint, especially for people coming from TV. Yeah. If you worked on a TV show, that means you've worked where what's called. You had three seasons of continuity. Well, he was a movie director. He was a movie director. He's the guy who directed House Party. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which one? Uh, yeah. 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 So, you know, that's great. Just get out the you didn't know that? Okay. No, I didn't know that. Uh, well, you know what it is? Uh, Moving on. No, uh, that kind of disturbs me. <laughs> um, I just think that was... Well, getting back to the original... Uh, what is the, uh, one of the hardest of keeping... One of the hardest things about keeping the story interesting is that one... Uh, like, you have to keep it fresh and new, which is almost impossible to do because all the stories have been told. So you have to put your own twist on the stories. Um, the other thing is that I think you have to keep it relatable to the readers. Um, and I think at this point they don't know who their readers are anymore. I think with the problem of not having, not knowing if it's a young audience, an old audience, teenagers, stuff, I don't, I don't, I think they're too afraid to just try and go after one audience mm -hmm. and what's called, well, not, they're not getting pre-teen audience anymore. I, 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 I think DC was smart, was smart when they tried to create their own pre-teen line with the Teen Titans Go and stuff like that. I mean, it may not be working, but at least I can see they're going, they're trying to make that effort. Marvel at this point has anything really going on. What kind of Marvel Adventures books? Oh, really? Is that at all? Or? Um, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Most you know, I, most I, I'd, I'd rather turn a kid onto like the essential books. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, um, but I, I don't, uh, what's cool? I think that was cool, uh, one of the most interesting, uh, the hardest thing though, to keep it interesting is, you gotta make it something that snaps with the reader. And well, I think you have to remain consistent with the, the, the book's theme. Right. But still be ballsy enough to. Well, I think that's part of the reason why the Push the envelope. I think that's part of the reason why the eighties was great. Because people were really afraid that the industry was just gonna die. Mm -hmm. They just start throwing shit against the wall, see what's stuck. It's like what's going on. <laughs> they really were. They, but at the same time, you still have to be true to the character. I think that's what happens a lot of times when. Nowadays, I mean, uh, have we read All Star Batman and Robin? No, I no, I haven't no, finished it. Well, and they haven't finished it. Exactly. <laughs> have you read it though? I tried to. And Frank Miller has just completely written Batman to what he wants it to be, and it doesn't work. I read it because I want to see how far Frank Miller falls. But <laughs> other than that, it's not good. Um, the, what was the last question? Uh, last, the last comic book I collected was way back with X Force. When Shadowstar had a secret ID of Benjamin or something like that, and yeah, exactly, that was a fucking long time ago. Didn't follow that source. Yeah, I'm surprised I did. Um, what it, it, what, it, what it was? What it was was a fucking writer who started a story and then he got taken off the issue, and they just kind of ignored that plot, or that storyline. Yeah. So and that was basically what happened, and that's one thing where it's like you gotta be again come back to being consistent, being staying true to the character. Keeping, if you start a plot, you know, eventually try and finish it, eventually, you know, wrap it up, do something, you know, put a bow on it or something. Yeah. Well, I don't think that they need to tie it up, but I think that was called, if, it shouldn't be something that's germane to the character as they leave open. And what I mean by that is, who somebody is is very important to them. Yeah. I, if I want to know my name, I want to know my name throughout. Yeah. It could be something like, yeah, there was a <coughs> I had a fight with. Freddy, whatever the fuck Freddy is. I had a fight with Freddy. 
Freddie went off and did something. And I don't care anymore because we fought. That's an unresolved plot. I don't give a shit about that. Yeah. But I need to know who my name is. Yeah. And I go on this whole thing to go find out my name. And halfway through the story, I decide I don't really care about my name. Yeah, that's that basically seems weird. That's what I had a problem with. Basically, that, like. But that's one of the problems with like the lack of a continuity editor causes. It's like what's called um, someone writes something and then what's called the previous writer. Uh, the previous writer doesn't what's called um, care anymore. It's. I'm oh, sorry. The next writer doesn't care anymore what the previous writer did, and they're not trying to even resolve any of that issues. You know what's coming up a lot that I think we the problem is too many writers on one story. That's what I think is a problem. You ha you should have basically. I know it's really tough nowadays when it becomes like more what you see, but still, I think the problem comes along when you have like more than like five writers on one comic or one story. In and that's one what, year too. And, and yeah, exactly. It used to be a writer would be going yeah. will be writing a story for fourteen issues. Yeah, and then he leaves. And that's basically what the problem is. So, I mean, if they could just basically keep it for one one writer, try to get a plot, and that's it. Boom, you're done. Mm -hmm. Well, so, I, think, so, I think the best <coughs> example of that was Titans. Uh, what was it? Uh, Perez? Yeah. And Wolfman? They, 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 and then they were leaving, so they're good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's it. End it up, and boom, get a good story out of it. Done. Let's start something else up. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Later. All right.